Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to compile games using open source compilers and libraries for a Linux based architecture. I am assuming that by now you possess the game's source distribution and that you are using a 64-bit Linux operating system with either an Intel or an AMD processor. Also, this tutorial uses modules to load the software needed for compilation. If your computer cluster does not have modules enabled, there is another video that will show you how to compile games locally in a Linux machine. The first step is to cd into the games directory. Here you can find the documentation files, scripts and source files needed for a successful compilation. In order to build games, we need three basic things. A compiler, a math library and an MPI library. In this video, we will be focusing on using open source libraries. There will be a link in the description detailing what open source means. For short, it means that source code is freely and publicly available for anyone to see and or modify. For the compilers, we will be using the GNU toolchain. For the math library, we will be using OpenBLAST. And for MPI, we will be using OpenMPI. In a computer that has modules, in order to visualize the versions of GNU available, one can simply type the keywords module spider gcc. Here you will notice that there are three versions of gcc available, 6.4, 7.3, and 10.2. We will be using version 6.4. In order to use this version of gcc, you need to load the module, which can be done by simply typing module load gcc 6.4 and whatever letters come next now that we've loaded the module we can verify this by typing gcc dash dash version and you can see that we have indeed version 6.4 now we can load our mpi library usually mpi libraries are built with a certain compiler toolchain mixing and matching compilers and mpi versions could lead into weird behavior and bugs the module system is decently smart and can find the versions we need according to our compiler. We are using GCC 6.4 or G4 6.4 in this case. So we can just let the module system guess which OpenMPI we're using. So you can just simply do module load OpenMPI. And we have successfully loaded the OpenMPI module. How can we verify this? If you type module list, you will see that you've successfully loaded OpenMPI 3.1.3. Finally, we can load OpenBLAST, which is our math library. We can do this simply by typing module load OpenBLAST. We can verify this by typing module list and we can see that we have OpenBLAST loaded. There is a possibility that the Linux cluster that you will be using will not have either OpenMPI or OpenBLAST installed. They can be installed by asking the IT department to do this, or you can do a local installation of the required libraries. There will be a separate video that will detail how to install this in the simplest and most fashionable way in order to use games with these libraries. Now we have all the necessary things we need in order to proceed. But before that, we need to get the paths to the MPI and OpenBLAST library. The path is the direction in which the MPI and the OpenBLAST libraries are located. You can find them by typing module show and whatever you want to find. In this case, OpenMPI. And the module system will show you a bunch of different outputs and what you need here is the path so you can take this and copy it into a separate file because we're going to need it in order to build games correctly you should also do this for open blast and take the path and copy it now that we have taken the paths and put them in a separate file which we can reference whenever we need we are ready to start building games in order to do this we can start by executing the config script, which configures the needed files in order for games to be built. We can do this by simply typing dot slash config. The first thing you'll see is this little message that describes what the configuration script is going to do. The first thing that's going to be asked from you is which type of machine you're using. 
we as we said we're using a linux 64 machine so you can just type linux 64 and click enter the next couple of questions is where games is going to be installed and the default location is wherever you're building it so you click enter you click enter the version number for games references the 00 that is found in the executable name if you decide to type any other number besides 00 the name of the executable is going to change and therefore you're going to have to account that whenever you're executing games we're going to take the default which is 00 by just clicking enter now our first question about compi is about compilers we now that we're using the gfortran so you can just type gfortran and we know that we're using gfortran 6.4 as we remember from loading our modules click enter and now we're going to the open blast setup so we can say that we're using open blast and notice that this is asking on where the library for open blast is located we can take our open blast path copy it paste it here and we will need to add the lib directory in order to for games to be able to find the lib open blast.a library we can click enter and this will take us to the next step here we want to compile games using mpi as we're using a multi-node cluster so we can click mpi and we're going to be using open mpi so now we are requested with the MPI install location copy paste enter the next few questions are regarding add-ons for games as we do not want to build anything else but games we can just simply say no 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 and for this one we do want to say yes because games OpenMP is really good as it enables threaded versions of many algorithms which are faster so we click yes now we are ready to start compiling games the first step is to do simply make ddi the second step is to do make modules And the final step is to build the entirety of games, which can be done simply by taking make-j. Dash -j. Dash -j makes sure that you're using every single core available to do a parallel build. We've successfully built games. This last step right here is the linking step, which takes all of the compiled object files into a single executable called games.00.x. If you see this message, the linking of games to binary was successful, we've succeeded at compiling games correctly. If you do not see this, an error might have happened during compilation or at the moment of linking. It is mostly probable that the error comes from the libraries you're loading. This is the math libraries and the OpenMPI libraries. There will be a separate video that details on errors during building. Thank you and be sure to use games and recommend it to a friend.